I think unlike, unlike most people that work in photography and in photojournalism, I've never been particularly um, interested in cameras or photography necessarily. It's really just a means to an end for me. I'm much more interested in the places that I visit and the stories that I'm able to tell through photography. The interaction between humans and nature, that's the kind of subject matter. It's mostly about the kind of the psychology of how we relate to different ecosystems. It's that relationship between humans and nature, that's always the sort of the subject matter. I grew up by the sea, I've always lived by the sea and it's been a focus of my work as well. I've always been drawn to, to stories that involve the sea in some shape or form. Even if they're not, you know, strictly marine conservation stories, they've usually got... So the, the sea normally plays some kind of role in the stories that I shoot. I'm really fortunate in that, in that I get to travel so much for, for the projects that I do, going to all sorts of different places around the world. But the sort of, the thing that ties it together, the overarching theme of it all is the connection that different cultures have with the ecosystems that they're from, whether that's mountains, the forest, the ocean. And what fascinates me is how something like the ocean, like a space like that, how that can be so many different things to so many different people. It's almost as if the ocean kind of, it comes to symbolise everything that we don't understand in the world. You know, when you're a fisherman in somewhere in Indonesia staring out to sea, like those, the thoughts that go through your head are exactly the same or can run along very similar lines as you know someone in Europe or in Africa or in South America there's kind of there's a unity to the ocean I suppose it it's sort of a focus point where people all over the world are looking kind of in the, in the same way as the sky is I suppose it's just a kind of it's a place onto which we can project you know the things we don't understand in our own lives and that's why I think the ocean's kind of got this mystique to it and this, um, this draw 